got a spotted brunch on before we go. Here's Linda McCartney's finest. No! Accident! Linda McCartney's finest. Sandwich thins. And some mozzarella. And then we'll be heading up up a hill. Up Crippola. Yeah, read that us at the car park. Oh, where is it? Up there, we're heading. Looks a kind of bit of a hike. <laughs> hey. Oh, I think we should get on with it. Time's running out. I'll see you up the hill a little bit. But for now, this is uh, me from here. Toodles. 561. Eh, double. Absolutely bloody shattered. Uh, well, I'll see where I'll let you see where we are. Gives <laughs> yeah. you a bit oomph back in your lungs and legs. God, that's got me knackered. Ah, oh, I've done it. You get this tent up. It's a chilly one. I'll tell you what, it's absolutely to take your breath away up here. Uh, cold. And to take your breath away up here. The views. Oh. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh. There's home for the night. And it is bloody freezing. Absolutely. It's taking taking my breath away. Yeah, uh, so is that. Wow. I set the time lapse up over here in case we get ruffians up in the pinch me gear. <laughs> wow. 
Oh, it is a bloody freezing. So Criffle 561, and I'll be honest, I felt nearly every one of them beat us. <laughs> I'm very unfit. I stuck at least another nasty half a stone on over Christmas. That had me half killed. Oh, look, right, off, off to put a time lapse on. Oh, I'll not be doing much filming outside the tent tonight. I wasn't expecting it to be this cold up here. The weather forecast said five and six. That feels more like minus five and six. This is usually frozen over bog. Feeling like Moses walking over the Red Sea. It's frozen solid. Whoa. What I've been out and cold lately. This is cold. This is January, I suppose. Ah, uh, sun has just been chinned. I thought it'd be a hasty retreat with my equipment back into the tent. Yeah, and I'll be in the tent all night. Get warm. Oh, I'm so pleased I've got all my winter gear with me. Oh, right. Another little spin. Colours are flipping unreal. Just a shame we've been robbed of a sunset. It's nice you don't mind, do you? Let's see what the old time lapse has taken. That's looking all right. That's looking all right. I'll keep it in because there's some nice bands of clouds coming over. Particularly these ones. Uh, well, you can see the the ice getting thicker on the ground. <laughs> you can.
is not nuclear. That sky is on fire. Hold on. If I turn away, it fools the camera. <laughs> I don't see. See, there's the camera fooled. Little pro photography tips, tips for you there. I was just smiling because I was taking a couple of selfies while I had the, fa the camera fooled. So, right, I'm going to get some of my stuff sorted in the tent. Come back in 20 minutes. Bloody hell. That. That's why we do it. That's why we freeze our asses off. I'm putting thermals on as soon as I'm back in our tent. I'm putting everything on. I'm going to put the tent on. It's bloody... I'll shut up, it's, it's I'm going to get the temperature stuff in it. I can't lie, it's a thermometer. You was cold. Minus three in the bloody tent. Right. Pop him up there, see if we can't get the place warmed up. Whoa. Minus three in the tent. Oh, there's a heat size. I'm probably tight for a bit. Shut up, don't I? Oh, dear me, it is the chilliest camp I have ever had in all my years of whale camping. Minus six outside, and I think I'm just having trouble getting rewarmed. Oh. Oh, plus I will be cooking outside. I'm going to have to cook inside. I'm going to do that before bed. I'm going to get something warm to eat inside as before bed. Yeah, that will uh, warm up my inner core so I get a better sleep. I haven't had much sleep the last two nights. That's probably not helping matters. Oh, and on my way up, yeah, I was thinking this bag's far too heavy. I'm bringing far too much stuff. And I was that close, yeah, for the dumping, uh, like putting things in a bin bag, yeah. I always carry a bin bag with this. Uh, and stashing them in the woods. And then I would... I would pick them up on the way down. It was a couple of times on the way up, I was like, nah, I'm not doing it anymore. Why am I doing this? I'm just not going to do it anymore. I didn't enjoy the hike up. My bag's too big, but it's winter. And if I hadn't have brought this down blanket and I'd stashed it in the woods, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have been a happy girl. Uh, I have got every item apart from, uh, I've changed socks and I haven't got me... Uh, my waterproof jacket on. I've got every item of clothing I brought up with this, and I am grateful for every item of clothing I brought up with this as well. That's why I could, I could trim my bag down, but I'll just be sat here like, <laughs> where would the fun in that be? Because as you can see, I'm having mega fun at the moment, eh? <laughs> oh, uh, but. To get to the top, and that for me is like a how I done it. You've done this, you've done it, man. Uh, but I knew it was cool when I got the top, and then I was I put me uh, me, me tent up. My fingers was uh, it pulling the snot out of us. My fingers was numb. Uh, I got a time lapse going, and then I, I, I took the thermometer out of my bag, and it was like what minus minus four five. And I popped it outside, and it had been in my bag, and I hadn't warmed the tent up and out. And minus six outside, I went, no blinking wonder, up tree. <sighs> if your fridge ran this cold, you'd be getting an electrician out. Your fridge is running now cold. Oh, right, I have got my full winter kit with me, and that did it half killed us getting it up here. Uh, but I am super chuffed, I brought my winter kit. I can't understand how the, the lads are getting these ultra light setups and they're, they're skipping up hills because they've only got a couple of a couple of pounds on their back. I can't do that. I need to have Obi Winter kit. Uh, and then sticking liquids and foods. My bag must be must have been fifteen k coming up here. Yeah. I'm gonna wait when I get home. I'll try and recreate the weight of my bag. Uh, I'll wait when I get home. And it's got to be on fifteen k. And then coming up with 561 metres, that's probably the highest hill I've done in a good few months. Uh, I put on a lot of weight over Christmas. I've just put on weight. I need to get out and exercise more. But it's only just hard. You just don't get the chance for work and that. I get my two days off a week and you kind of catch up. It's, oh, I don't know. 
So yeah, I've had to drag my fat ass up here and then uh, like 30 pounds on me back or whatever I'm, I'm carrying. I mean, it's what, 2.2 pounds to a kilo? I might be close up to 35 pounds. Yeah, uh, that's more like what lads trying out for, for the green berries do, isn't it? <laughs> run up and down hills with that type of weight on the back. Mind, right, don't get us wrong, I did not run up and down the hill. <laughs> A uh, couple of times I nearly gave up on the way on the way up and I was like, what are you doing it for? What are you doing it for? Hey, let's go back down. Uh, but I, uh, good, <laughs> good elf won over evil elf on my shoulders. Uh, so yeah, uh, a quickie about what I'm actually wearing. As soon as I got in the tent, I, uh, I knew I had to change into the spare clothes I had. So that was it. In the tent, socks off, fresh socks on, uh, extra socks on, uh, I've got some thermal, thermal uh, tent booties, I put them on. I put my merino uh, base layer underneath my hiking pants. I've got a merino long sleeve top I bought. So I stripped off everything. Lasses, here's a one for you. If you've been sweating and walking up a hill and it's fucking cold when you get the top, take your bra off, yeah? Don't be leaving your bra damp on. Uh, take that off. Carry it down in your bag. So bra off, uh, merino long sleeve uh, layer. Then I've got me, uh, me breathable... Is it Marmot? Marmot? I don't know. That, that on. Uh, on top of that, I have a, a fleecy jumper. Then I've got a decathlon body warmer. Uh, and then I've got me, uh, oh, me ME down jacket. Uh, still feeling a little bit chilly, but you're supposed to sort of warm yourself up for the, let, let your products work properly. They need to trap warm air. Uh, and just keep you warm that way. If you haven't got warm air there, they're just going to be trapped and cold there. So a little bit of moving around, a little bit of exercise, that will get your core temperature a bit warmer. My feet were like two blocks of ice. I've just sat and just tapped them together. I've actually got me sleeping bag out. I've got my sleeping bag, my sleeping bag liner. This down blanket, so chuffed I bought that blanket. And just sat and tapped my feet together until it got a bit warmer. So yeah, I do feel warm. Winds is picking up outside, they're not going to get anything mad. Uh, I can't get a perfect perfect pitch up here. Plus the ground was bloody frozen. <laughs> the weather forecast never mentioned any of this. I had thoroughly checked it. Uh, but I were here. I thought it was a bit amiss when I got the top and it was just getting more white and more... Even when I was putting the tent up, you could see more and more frost. It's like forming. Like, wow, it's a little bit weird, isn't it? It's supposed to be an all right night. Oh, Rita, I will stop rambling. It's just if you're going to do this, you're new to it. Uh, watch what you're doing, yeah? Because minus, minus six outside, if I hadn't got warm stuff in here and that, minus six, that'll have you hypothermic. Yeah? So watch what you're doing. Uh, know what you're doing. Yes, listen to advice. But the best advice you'll ever get is from yourself, and it's called experience. So if you're going to come out in temperatures like this, maybe just go a little bit further down, you get cold in the valleys, you get really cold in the valleys. Uh, don't be too far from your vehicle. Let people know where you are. Make sure you've got the right kit. You'll sharp find out if you haven't got the right kit. There is no shame in bailing. Uh, if you need to bail, bail, as long as you know the way back down safely. It's no, it's no game coming out in weather like this. Yeah, look, I'm sat here with two hats on. Uh, one of them's got a, a lush flower on it, one of off me auntie again. Uh, watch what you're doing, yeah? Because things like this can turn nasty. Right. Right, so remember I there before Christmas and I was having a nice little segment where I was recommending people's videos and just telling you what I've been watching on YouTube and that. Uh, haven't forgot about that, but been over Christmas. I've had my junior home for three weeks over Christmas and then just getting back into the swing of things after. So, obviously when Perry's home, I don't, I don't sit and watch you YouTubers while camping. Yeah, it's not really his thing, funnily enough. But if you've got to watch one and only one, uh, go for Eddie. Eddie, uh, Scott while camper. Uh, privileged enough, I've met him a couple of times. Cracking lad. Uh, and his videos, I've watched his videos for blinking years. Absolutely years. Now his latest one, uh, or his nearly his latest ones, when he was up the Cairngorm, and it was two videos. Even if you haven't got time, watch the second one. That is the that's probably the way it is. It's the best wild camping video uh, of 2022 so far. 
Win surprise. Still at the match. Eddie's won. The number one. Minus 14. He's in his scop. He's with his pal. Uh, I think it was filmed before Christmas because I had Christmas lights up there and that. But if you want to see, it just looks otherworldly. Uh, he's camped up at over, well over 3,000 foot. Uh, I've forgotten, was it uh, Lock Arn? Lock Arn, he's, he's camped up at. Uh, but then they go for a hike, <coughs> a hike up the, the cat. Got, grab a couple of Monroes or whatever. I'm not. I'm not a, a hiking girl, uh, a, a hill girl like that. Yeah, they bag a couple of Monroes, come back down, and then the whale camp at this frozen lock. And crikey, that's that. Uh, hats off to them. That's a brilliant video. Absolutely brilliant. So Eddie Scott's whale camper. Everybody knows Eddie. Uh, watch that one. Right, as a make the peeps. False number. Up. Just had a little bit of excitement there earlier. Uh, two lads just seem to come up at the top of Criffle at nine o'clock at night when it's minus five outside uh, just for shits and giggles. Uh, <laughs> uh, ah, now to the bother. They didn't know who's in this tent. That would have been two massive blokes. Uh, for all they know, actually probably by the size of the tent. That's probably what they were expecting. <laughs> so yeah, just I uh, didn't bother turning my lights out in the house. Just sat and listened. A little bit to eat. I'm going to bed now. It's probably about half past nine. Uh, nice and get snugged up. Uh, I will stick my hand up here and see I've had a wee accident in my pot. Uh, I've had slate spillage, which has landed on my uh, <laughs> army flame screen uh, bivy bag, which I need to go in the wash tomorrow. <laughs> hey, but on the plus side, if it hadn't been there, and maybe it might have got me sleeping bag a little bit damp. So always be extra specially careful when you're having en suite activities right i'm gonna get off god look at the color of this i'm bloody cold it's not as cold as it was earlier uh i'm expecting a good sleep i've not had a one for the last couple of nights so time to get snugged up couple of them pop them in my bag happy days uh and i'll see you in the morning uh night from me morning guys uh it is 10 to 8 i don't know if you can hear that Been like that all night. Uh, it's really misty, moisty outside. The corner of the hill, it's a what, 571561? That's only about 40 metres off a mountain, really. So, yeah, you've got your typical misty, uh, moisty, windy mountain weather up here. And guys, uh, it's light enough for me to make an escape, so I am. Uh, what's the point of sitting it out? Uh, I'll have the brew back down it. Back down it, lingo, eh? Uh, not much sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, I'll see you in the track a bit. Toodles. Done. 
that's the treat when I get back the van. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.